fly filter that drops the parachute. <laughs> you could fit it inside all those.
worry about the story. Please, as you are able, stand, if you can, for the National Anthem. please for the recognition of land acknowledgement and also addressed by the uh, chairman committee the town of Godridge has the privilege of being within the traditional territory of the Adirondack and Ojibwe peoples this land is covered by treaty 29 of 1827 and in the lands protected by the dish with one spoon agreement we recognize that indigenous people have been using and caring for this land since time immemorial. We are grateful for their past and ongoing stewardship of the lands and waters and wish to show them our respect today. 
The people of, of Goddard are committed to addressing the historic and present injustices of colonialism. We acknowledge indigenous peoples must be included and consulted on matters that impact their lands and waters and strive to build strong relationships grounded on collaboration, respect, and trust. So as chairman of the Homecoming Lancaster Committee and president of Ranch 109, I've got a few opening remarks. Welcome to the homecoming at the Lancaster 60 years, sorry, Lancaster. 60 years ago today, the Lancaster made its first trip to this very airport. 60 years ago to the day, the audience was awestruck with its splendor and sheer magnitude. Today is no different. The Lancaster M213 was built in July 1945 in Malton, just as the Second World War was ending. It never saw service overseas and was used for maritime patrol and search and rescue missions in Canada before it retired in 1963 and was sold to the Goddard Legion in 1964. From 1964 until 1977, the Goddard Legion and Goddard itself had the honor to commemorate and display this icon until 1977 here in Goddard at the airport when it was sold to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. The museum undertook the task of getting the plane back in the air and over the next 10 years the aircraft was rebuilt. The Lancaster FM-213 is one of only two that are airworthy in the world today. It flies out of the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton, Ontario. The other is in England. After its restoration, it was flown for the first time on September the 11th, 1988. 7,377 aircraft were built. 3,736 lost during the war. 3,249 in action and 487 in ground accidents. The Lancaster bombers were a major part of the Allied war effort with Royal Air Force and Royal Canadian Air Force crews conducting more than 150,000 bombing sorties from 1942 to 1945. I'd like to thank each of you who took the time to write me and share your memoirs. Today in our audience we have veterans, widows and widowers of veterans, family members of those who served and flew in the Lancaster during the Second World War and family members of those who worked in the factories building the Lancaster for the war effort. Words cannot go far enough to thank each of you for your sacrifices and your family's sacrifices in return for the freedom that we enjoy today. To each of you here today, thanks again for taking part in this historic event and a big thank you to Dave and his team from the Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton for making the next two days possible. Thank you. Bow our heads in prayer. I will lift up my eyes to the hills and the skies. From hence, from whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Almighty God, you make the clouds your chariot and walk upon the wings of the wind. Bless this airplane, the Lancaster, and the crew who fly it. When it is in the midst of the clouds and wonders of the sky, grant them the assurance of your protection. May the crew and all who come to see this bomber remember all those who flew her and others during the wartime. May this remaining Lancaster be a flying memorial tribute to those who flew her with fearlessness. May we remember the great sacrifice offered by those who lost their lives in the fulfillment of their duties. And we bless all members, we ask God to bless all members of our armed forces this day, remembering especially the RCAF in their 100th anniversary. May our eternal God will always be their refuge underneath God's everlasting arms as they strive for justice and peace. All God's people say Amen. Amen.
And now I'd like to take and call upon Branch 109 Godridge President Comrade Randy Carroll for the act of remembrance. They shall grow not old as we who are left to grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down in the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Them. We'll now have the placing of two wreaths, beginning with the Government of Canada, placed by Bill Strong on behalf of Ben Lobb, MPP or MP for Year and Bruce, and carried by the Royal Canadian Legion. First Vice President, Lynn, Comrade Lynn McClellan. Please stand if you're able for the playing of God Save the King. Thank you everyone, that concludes